on bits. Whatever you want. A nice shiny new beat on bits. Beat on bits, a real winner. There's always room for beat on bits. Just gotta love beat on bits. Hey everybody, welcome to episode 17 of the Beat on Bits podcast. This is my show where I talk about passions, projects, and playlists with some pretty cool people. Woo. My name is Brandon, <laughs> and I'm your host of the show. I'm a DJ and a software developer, and I have with me today Jamie. Yeah. who is uh, Entrepreneur of the Year in 2016, Best Food Truck of the Year for two years, and a brand endorser. Say hi, Jamie. Hi. Hi, everyone. So, I know Jamie... I've never been uh, introduced as cool. It's oh, always okay. nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're extra cool yeah. today and yeah. every other day from here on yeah. forward, so embrace it. <laughs> so, I know Jamie through uh, a friend, Jeff, who yeah. works at Jack and & Jones, and... Uh, We've done a couple events at Jack and Jones together with me DJing and yeah, Jamie yeah. providing the delicious food. Yeah. So uh, we're going to talk about some things that Jamie is passionate about today and some stuff that he's been working on. And these topics are going to include cooking, motivational speaking in Tagalog, yeah. fashion and self-care, reinventing yourself, learning Spanish and playing the drums. Speech. Yeah, this is, that, that's, that's actually a, uh, a surprise soon, but you know what? Um, I have I have a lineup of surprise for uh, for everyone there for but, all the yeah. all the viewers and all the listeners <laughs> yeah. out there. Awesome, I'm excited. I really love your camera. It's like yeah, it's a Google Pixel Two. It's, nice. it's got really nice yeah. <laughs> front facing camera. It gets the good yeah. side, the good yeah. side. So uh, why don't we just choose one of these, start us off, and you can tell us a little bit about uh, what you're so passionate about. So how about yeah, uh, since I'm a food trucker, so let's yeah. start with cooking. Sure. Yeah. So, so what what uh, kind of attracts you to cooking, and what keeps you passionate about cooking? I, I don't know. It's a it's one one way of uh, me expressing my my n- not love, but the way I care for others, like for my friends. Like I that that's that's how I show that I care. It's, it's through food. Yeah. When when you when I start giving you you know something or. F- cooking something for you that means I, I i care about you or you're my friend i want to be friends with you something like that yeah and that's yeah. really good and I, i've noticed like from the jack and jones events you're always really yeah like oh have a lot of food yeah take, a lot, <laughs> take some home everybody takes some food so yeah, yeah you i can tell you're a very carry person that yeah. way and just like to spread the good food and i think that's it kind of goes across a lot of different mm-hmm. cultures with food being a way to yeah care about your family exactly. and friends and things like that so yeah that's really nice so you kind of get to Express your care for others, and mm-hmm. that kind of led you to open up the food truck, or yeah, um, the the food truck is uh, a product of uh, I want something new in my life mm. versus I uh, and um, I, I want uh, you know I, I want to not not just to make more more money, but it's there. There's an itch in me that I really wanted to do this for a long time. Hmm. So yeah, cool. Mm. So you thought about it for quite some time before even considering the food industry as a whole or? You know what? This might sound a little bit uh, cheesy, but I was in LA. Yeah. We, it's, it's, a, it's, a family, uh, it's a family trip. Okay. And then uh, uh, we went to this food truck and then uh, all of a sudden, you know, it's, it's kind of cheesy. I, I was looking at the guy that was... Uh, uh, selling food and yeah. all of a sudden I imagined myself doing it and I was oh. smiling and I can't stop thinking about it yeah 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 you know what two days after flying to Canada I started writing my ideas oh I, I, I bought uh, I bought a very cheap uh, notebook from the dollar store yeah and just randomly you know putting all my ideas there oh. like the truck's gonna be red this is going to be the food like oh, random wow. like there, there's no there's no format or, or anything of that sort yeah you just like let just, it, yeah let it this, is, this is going to be the name the names that i thought of before yeah, yeah. it's it's not nice to, to, to say <laughs> here but you know yeah it's, did you think of some really bad names before yes eat me or stick me up <laughs> <laughs> i guess jeepney jt is a lot i didn't I, I, I didn't know yeah, what yeah. that what that means oh at yeah. first <laughs> Yeah, I, I just heard it from a yeah, movie, yeah, yeah. and then I said, that would be cool, you know. It's a good food truck name. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine yeah, driving a food the, truck the, called the, Eat Me? <laughs> yeah. And then, um, yeah, and, I, um, and then five months after, I, I opened, the, with the help of my family, with the help of my uh, very supportive partner. Nice. 
it's um yeah we we opened the food truck five months my friend wow five months it took five months to get the first one up or yeah it's, it's just one we, oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and right, then right. uh but it's it's kind of from being a nurse you know mm-hmm. and then to a food truck owner it's yeah. it, it's kind of fast oh you know yeah like the but yeah. then you nursing is kind of like another area where you get to show that you care about other oh, people yeah. a lot too so yeah. it's like the feeling kind of transitions with the whole yeah. shift too, right? Yeah. So do you still I, feel like, do you still feel like you're doing as fulfilling work uh, as a food truck owner as you did when you were oh, a nurse? Yeah. Or it's like even oh more God, so yeah. now? Or? It's, it's, I feel, I, I feel very uh, fulfilled. Hmm. You know, I would like to think that I was, I'm, 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 I'm a good nurse and like I was, uh, I, I really am uh, not, not an awarded uh, but I, I always get compliments, you know, mm. but this is different, you know? Yeah. This is different. This is, uh, um, it's challenging in a way that um, I have to invent food. Mm. I have to think of something that would put me to remain on top of yeah. my game, especially being the uh, best food truck awardee. You have to have, you, you have, have to, to raise the bar. Yeah, yeah you yeah, have to yeah, yeah. The, the expectations, right? Yeah. And there's expectations. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, because in Edmonton, there's actually a lot of really good food trucks. So kind of winning that top spot says yeah. a lot about the quality. 110, and... 110 food trucks. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of them are really good, too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah so and I'm, I'm friends with most of them. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. No, that's, that's great. So mm-hmm. that's definitely something to be proud of. Uh, and then so is it just within the food truck kind of realm that you do your cooking or you do lots of cooking outside of food trucks as well oh just in the food truck but at home i i i only cook for my family at home okay um that's where all the the experimentation begins Mm -hmm. you know when i so your test yeah my 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 friend's house it's either my 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 home or my friend's house okay like whenever i i think of something my ideas come when when I'm driving, you know, like yeah, yeah. I, I I love to drive, yeah. Especially going out of town to um, to like to Grand Prairie, Calgary, mm. and everything like that. So whenever I I think of something, yeah. I write it down when I'm parked. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whenever I'm not parked. while you're driving. No, no, not while you're don't, driving. Don't text and drive. <laughs> yeah. Or make notes when you drive. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. No, that's that's really cool. Mm-hmm. So so uh, I guess like you didn't even write that, but I didn't know you were that into driving too. You, are you like really big into? No, um, um, um I, I don't know. It's just, it's it relaxes me. Oh. Okay. Yeah, driving relaxes me. Clears your mind, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Just, yeah. Especially playing my uh, my favorite songs, you know. Yeah. <laughs> kind of dancing. You know? Yeah, we'll get into the yeah. music at the at the end, <laughs> but. For now, no, that's really cool. Did do you know, like a lot of? Do you know a lot about cars and stuff too, or just like you like the feeling oh, no. of driving? I have no idea about cars or whatsoever. Like that's uh, my 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 partner's department. You know. Like, yeah. <laughs> you just like to get in and go. Yeah. Don't worry about. It. Yeah. No, I think that's a lot of people well, too because I really like. Do, do, you know, so. do you know? Do you know? This is kind of embarrassing, but um, oh. um, my first vehicle, I. I didn't even do oil change. Oh, really? Because <laughs> I didn't know. I thought putting oil is oil change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but you didn't know you have to like drain it yeah, and everything. No, I didn't know that. Oh no. But yeah, he took care of it, so it's. Good. Oh, okay, that's yeah. good. At least you have someone who knows. Then yeah. You're good. Yeah, because even. And that is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Yeah. God. It's it's not. Too, I I know people who've like done it way. At least you're not one of those people who drives away. With a gas pump still in the tank and oh no 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 <laughs> that would be worse <laughs> yeah so there there's worse don't don't feel too bad yeah I think not a lot of people can do the oil change on their own anyway yeah. so it's okay but uh, if if you have not much else to say about cooking for now maybe we can move on to some the next topic which is motivational speaking in Tagalog oh yeah in Tagalog so what can you tell us about that yeah um I love to talk yeah but uh, my first language is not English. Mm-hmm. And um, for some reasons, if I'm tired, I can't speak English. I told you about that yeah, earlier. Yeah, like, yeah. if I'm live on global and I had like I had like two hours of sleep, sometimes I I do charades. Like, Kevin, can you hand me mm, that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got to point with the lips. Yeah, too, right? you point with the lips. It's a very <laughs> Filipino thing to do. That. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, point with the lips kind of thing. So, yeah, it's um. 
and then sometimes I'm I'm lost of words and I can't I can't explain you know it's um yeah and, but I whenever I whenever I do uh, motivational messages to to in my language yeah like I'm like I'm I'm like an armalite like nonstop just keeps going yeah. and going and going because I I don't have to translate it in my brain or anything yeah, yeah. like that so yeah but you know what I because that started when I get a lot of messages every day, mm -hmm. an average of like 100 to 200 messages from my followers. Wow. About thanking me for being an inspiration, thanking oh. me for um, for doing what I do. And yeah. it's really good. It's yeah. a good feeling. It's humbling. Yeah. yeah. So it just, you, you feel like you got to kind of give back and yeah. inspire them to do. Yeah. The like even, too. even before I came here, I got a yeah. message from Saskatoon oh. um, saying that, he wanted to start a food truck and mm. he said that um, if I could help him out and you know I, I, I quickly texted him about oh this is what I did oh. and ab about what I said earlier like yeah. putting all your ideas in one paper yeah, in yeah, one yeah. notebook so did you yeah. tell him not to name his food truck eat me <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> hi to my viewers there hey <laughs> yeah if we're also yeah. recording this um, yeah. on video and audio for my podcast later and we're also doing a Facebook Live, so it's yeah. it's new for both of us right now with everything happening yeah. at once. So excuse us if we look yeah. or sound awkward at times because it's it's new, yeah. but we're having a good time. So we'll just keep it rolling. That's really cool. Though. So have you actually done any motivational like talks on like oh, the yeah. stage and stuff too? Or um, I can't. I, I lost count. I lost track. Oh wow, yeah. that many, huh? The, yeah, it's been it's been it's been a lot. Yeah. Wow. So, and especially when I came home to the Philippines. Oh, you do back there too? Yeah, I went there for a visit slash business. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I was there for 17 days. 15 days was uh, with the TV guestings, radio and all. Wow. So, yeah, and um, I, I talked a lot about my, uh, what, I, what, I do, what I do here in Canada. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. How did you kind of get the, I guess, um, awareness back home that you have? this business here and everything and had all the interviews and stuff lined up back there. Do you know people in the media industry or you just have a lot of fans back home that kind of spread um, the word and everything? Or I have almost 200,000 subscribers. Oh, and, wow. Um, and then, but, but uh, I think in 2015, I got, um, I got, I, I was featured in, um, in international news, but Philippine Philippine based international news, which is called oh. Balitang America. Oh. It's like American news, but yeah, you yeah. know they they used to have Balitang Canada. It's but Balita yeah. means news. Oh, okay, okay. So I I think they they fused into just Balitang Canada uh, America, which is a North American bureau kind of is thing. Is that that ACB thing? TFC. TFC. Okay. Yeah, TFC, and that it's uh, channel yeah channel two, but. I was featured also in their rival channel, oh. <laughs> which is I know someone is watching from there. <laughs> You're double dipping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, they they um, they featured me, and yeah. then when I came home, uh, yeah, after spending a, a day with my family, the following day they started calling me. They started, yeah. Oh, nice. They even they even offered um, um, a, an assistant, like my personal assistant, all throughout my. It was nice. I was spoiled. I was wow, super spoiled. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. I was... Uh, Did you I, just give him all these random demands? Like, oh, can I, can I have a coffee? <laughs> no. Some donuts? No, no. Was, it, it, was, it was nice because it was... Um, uh, I never had that experience in the past. Yeah. You know? And um, there was one time that... Um, um, if you've seen one of my videos, like after giving an inspirational talk to this high school students, yeah. they all flocked and wanted my signature, oh, wanted wow. my autograph and everything. So it was it was a nice feeling. I, I I almost cried, you know, like in front of them. But you know, I was trying to compose myself because this yeah, is yeah, something yeah. new for me. Yeah, that must have yeah. been over. That was the first. It, it time was it's... overwhelming. Yeah, it was overwhelming. Uh, they they handed me their their T shirt. They handed me their ID. They they just wanted my signature. Some some handed me their own money just to put wow. the, Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Were you like, oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so, great. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. I, I think that, and that was your first time experiencing like that big of an audience and that much. Uh, attention all at once probably yeah yeah, yeah and, that's crazy and uh yeah before leaving i i got actually an, an offer of a uh, complete exclusivity in one of 
those channel but i'm not mentioning it <laughs> so yeah so yeah. what uh why didn't you decide to go with that Did you just... i choose family over fame oh okay yeah. yeah oh that's really good you know what i instantly you know yeah no, yeah yeah i would rather have my family be with the person that i you know that i'm with you know yeah yeah, yeah. He's very he can't a, leave people yeah. behind it's yeah just, no yeah and uh, i'm i would like I, i'm I'm happy here in Canada. I love the Philippines, so get me wrong. Yeah, like sure. that's that's what I'm that's what I'm doing, like promoting my culture, promoting yeah. my food, promoting you know, explaining things why people like why Filipinos whenever we have birthday parties we have that pancit, the noodles. Mm. I think you had that last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's and then, delicious. And um, uh, yeah, that's what the, I I love my culture, but I love my I love my country, but this is where I live now. Mm. You know, and I yeah. I love Canada. It's a it's it's a beautiful place, you know. Yeah, it's, for yeah. sure. It's very like um, I guess it's like the the nicer relative of the U.S. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, America's land of opportunity yeah. and stuff, but it can be pretty harsh. Yeah, sometimes. but here you know, it's uh, people are nice, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, but I have yeah yeah no 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 I, I will I will say that later. I have a hater now. First you have ever. A hater. Yeah, yesterday, oh, okay. yesterday. I, I will not mention what he said. But uh, it was it's it was mean. But oh. you know what? I I welcome haters with open arms because I I talked to one of um, a public figure here in uh, Canada about yeah. what happened about what he said because my my Instagram I, I have a lot of followers in Instagram now but not yeah. but not that much but from from two thousand I think I'm on five thousand now so yeah um yeah it's like and more than ten times what I have yeah so <laughs> it's um. And haters will come, oh, and of I welcome them. But it's 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 I'm gonna be used to it. You know? Yeah, yeah. But having that one person trying to make me feel bad about myself, as opposed to getting the a lot of the, the nine, uh, nine, 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 yeah the messages don'ts. that I get, yeah, they, like thanking me or you know, offering a lot of things, you know, like it's it's better. It's exactly yeah the positives way 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 outweigh the the negatives right yeah so yeah you can't let can't let just one negative person get to you just just bounce off and they're probably just not in the best state of mind themselves anyway maybe they're jealous or maybe they just tried something similar and didn't do well so it's it's a complete reflection of themselves yeah exactly exactly yeah, no, that's really Remember good. that, haters. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, look inside yourself before projecting. Onto yeah, but these uh, these people like they love me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spread the love. So, I think that's that's a really nice transition mm. to the next note too, because uh, if if your self care isn't so good, it's really easy to project that onto others. Yeah. And one other thing that you said you're passionate about is fashion and self care. So what can you yeah. tell us about that? I don't know. Uh, I used to be. Uh, I used to be big for for in my perception, yeah. but there's nothing wrong with that. But I tried to, you know, you just didn't I, feel comfortable. Yeah, I just didn't feel yeah. comfortable. So I, I, I went on a diet. I tried to take care of myself more. Mm-hmm. Um, and I feel better. Mm-hmm. I can, I, I, I work faster. You know, um, more energy. More energy. Yeah. More energy in a lot of ways. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then. Um, yeah, I feel good about myself. I'm yeah. I'm more conf- confident, so to speak. You know, it, it shows. You know, too, because yeah. like if I can, like if you I look at you, I can tell that you feel good about yourself and like you're bright yeah. and like you spread positivity. Yeah, it's so yeah. it definitely like you fill up your own cup and then it kind of overflows. Exactly right. Like yeah. How, how can you how can you spread the love if you don't love yourself? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's it starts within you. To be honest, it's. It sounds selfish, but mm. you have to love yourself first so that you'll be able to give to others, right? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds cliche, but it's true. Oh, definitely. Yeah, because yeah, if you're looking only to others to kind of validate yourself and feel yeah. valued, it's not going to I used to do healthy, that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because so I'm, I think, a, I'm yeah. a pleaser kind of thing. Yeah, know, yeah, so. yeah. So what kind of made you uh, realize that you should take care of yourself more and pay attention to yourself more? I don't know, I, I, it's kind of shallow because I was looking at myself in the mirror and then all of a sudden I see lines, I see white hair. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm, uh, I'm on TV a lot. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then, um, no, 
and personal personal reasons mm-hmm. uh, of course I wanted to look attractive to the person I'm with you yeah. know and uh, yeah and it it, it actually um, uh, rewarding yeah yeah uh, it, it it just snowballed into a lot of things like I in, now I endorse skincare uh, clinic oh, yeah and then dental yeah yeah, yeah. so how did you re- how did you kind of get in they contacted me oh they contacted you yeah they called me and, and they just said was it after they saw you on TV or something and they want to offer you the services oh no or? Uh, it was no I, I started I started TV 2015 oh yeah, so yeah it was just kind of in the middle and then okay yeah oh that's so, great I'm sure everyone watching and listening would love to know how they can get endorsed for some nice skincare and some take care of yourselves yeah <laughs> take care of yourself and then maybe other people would be like hey yeah. you look good you should advertise this for us mm. Yeah, Jack and Jones too. Yeah, yeah. Jack and Jones. On Jack and posters. Jones. Yeah, this is uh, what I'm what, what I'm wearing in, in on the poster there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's on a poster <laughs> so, in the Jack and Jones. Yeah, store. that's why that's why I wore this today. So, yeah. spring collection Jack and Jones. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, they have some really nice stuff there. Yeah. So that's good too. That's that's like just everything almost goes like a puzzle. It just fits together yeah. so nicely with your topics. Because the next one is reinventing yourself, which mm-hmm. is another thing that you're passionate about, the, which. I think you brought it more in the context of getting bored with something and moving on to something yeah, I, else. I, I, I don't know. That, um, I was trying to explain to you earlier, um, yeah. I'm not an overachiever. I was an average person, uh, student when I was um, in school. But if I wanted something, yeah, I really focus and I'll get it. Mm-hmm. That, like I uh, tried... Um, I, there's two professors back in college that I think he belittled me a little bit. I aced his uh, his subject oh. like f- flat out one. That's nice. the perfect. And um, it's uh, I don't know. I like challenging myself. Yeah. Yeah. Like after the food truck, and then being on different shows. Yeah. And then um, now endorsing and public speaking. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I, I really like being exciting kind of thing. I don't know. I, I don't know the, 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 the right word for that. But well, like you like to always be uh, interested and yeah, like I, I, I want I want to be relevant. Oh, I see. Yeah, I want to be relevant. I yeah, that's yeah, that's the word relevant. Relevant. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Um, you just gotta release an album every year, so so, so that <laughs> people don't forget. <laughs> Yeah. So what's next? Are you so, gonna do a rap album or a country album? Oh my god, <laughs> rap! Oh my god, <laughs> no, I can't like, even sing. You know, I you I did I did my uh, if they wanted to see my uh, my my I have a video of uh, my um, April Fool's video. Okay, I was lip singing yeah. with um, um, the person who was singing is a a world champ a silver medalist from the world singing championships okay. kind of thing, and I was lip singing. And then I was doing a lip sync, and then oh, and they people, thought it was half you, of my or? followers think I was me. Oh, wow. I went to the mall the following day. People were congratulating me. Hey, yeah, you're yeah. the complete package. I didn't know you can sing, <laughs> and I was like, No, <laughs> nope. you you didn't. I have a very terrible voice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you want to do a sample? Right oh now? my you god, no. <laughs> you know what? Whenever I, I, for example, we're we're in a we're in a show or a Filipino gathering, and yeah. then they would want me to stand up and talk about something there in front yeah. and that I'll tell my mom they're, they're asking me to sing and then my mom would say my mom loves me okay yeah, yeah. but he would say sit down <laughs> she doesn't want to hear yeah. she knows don't how bad it is up. yeah don't embarrass yourself that's yeah. hilarious yeah. it's always yeah. fun to like play these little jokes on your like mom and, and stuff too because they'll believe yeah. you right and they're like oh no <laughs> <laughs> yeah I do that to my grandma sometimes yeah. it's really funny but <laughs> it's out of love right so yeah. uh so that's reinventing yourself, just kind of keeping yourself, giving yourself more things to be interested yeah. in and keep you, keep you relevant, keep you I, going. I, yeah, I, I, I tried a lot of things to, uh, to, to, be interest, to be relevant, not only to my friends, not only to my families, but something that I'm a 40-year-old guy. You don't look 40. Honest? Yeah, I think whatever you're doing is working. <laughs> yeah. um, I, it's... Uh, I, I wanted to do more, you know? Like, I don't want to be stuck in doing just one thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's and, good too. Yeah. 
It's good to like, because there's how many people only have one thing that they're interested in or just mm -hmm. one thing that they're yeah. passionate. There's always like a lot of things, even if it's not the main thing. You're, there's always something that you're like on the side you wish you could do or other things you're interested in too, right? So it looks like you have some questions on the live. Yeah. What do we have here? Oh, right. <laughs> no, no. It's a podcast. Yeah, it's a podcast. Yeah. You so. just tune into the middle. Yeah. So we're, we're around the middle of it now. So I'll just... Yeah. Uh, just remind the listeners, watchers, and yeah. viewers that this is a podcast about passions, projects, yeah. and playlists. And I'm I'm Brandon. I'm the host, and I'm a DJ and software developer. And yeah. if you're watching the live, you know who this is already. Is Jamie yeah. the the food owner, truck guy? The food truck guy, <laughs> not just any food truck guy though. <laughs> Entrepreneur of the year yeah. 2016, best yeah. food truck of the year for two years in the very competitive food truck scene of Edmonton, Alberta, yeah. Canada. And a brand endorser so yeah. that's where we're at so we got a couple items left that yeah. we uh jotted down before the show that jamie is passionate about which is yeah. learning spanish and playing the drums so what can you tell us about your spanish learning adventures yeah no i um i went to this uh um the house of one, one of my mom's friend mm -hmm. and uh, there's one guy there that uh, speaks spanish yeah and then uh, we were just talking and then i said you know what? We can have a good deal. I said, I'll, I'll bring you food. You teach me Spanish. Oh, yeah, that's a good deal. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, because I, I really wanted to be very fluent in Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, no. It's um, it's a secret though. I know he's watching. Don't tell. Don't tell, tell anyone. Yeah. All you millions of listeners uh, out there. Because <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're planning to have a road trip down there sometime in the next two years to south america, uh, south, south america. Yeah. and i would yeah i'm i i'm preparing for that yeah. great yeah do you know much yet or are you still pretty early in the learning oh or? a little bit but um yeah. yeah it's 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 not um it's not something that uh, i can be I, I i can brag on my life because oh, okay. <laughs> i know he's watching how about you say yeah. say say some sentence right now and then you can look back on this a oh few my god, down no. the road and be like, oh, no, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I improved so much from back then. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's good though. Yeah, I'm, I really like learning languages too. Yeah. And, uh, it's exciting. Yeah, yeah, it is. It kind yeah. of expands your mind and makes you think of like, yeah. different ways because each language has their own little things yeah. about it that's different from mm -hmm. each one. So it's really good learning languages. My wife's Korean, so I'm learning Korean now too. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So it's, that's very hard to learn. It, Korean. Yeah, that it's it is I, pretty challenging, especially from really different from English. So yeah, yeah. But the writing system is actually like one of the easiest ones to learn out of all the Asian really? languages. Yeah, because it's really it was it's like one of the newer ones, even oh, though it's okay. like a few hundred years old for oh, the okay. writing. Because they wrote it, it used to be all Chinese characters, which mm -hmm. is really tough, right? Mm -hmm. But then they changed it uh, so that like everyone can learn it better. So it's it's actually really nice to learn now. So yeah. Um, so the last thing we have on your passions list is playing the drums. Yeah, um, my good friend. Uh, I mean, my my good friend Raul. Uh, um, I watched him before, like a few years back. He was playing the drums, and that just and and I said, oh wow, he he looks cool. You know, he's cool, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only but, when no, he plays the yeah. drums. When he and stops, he was, you're like, oh, he was whatever. playing the drums, and then th that that. And then that went on, like, I, yeah, yeah. That, it was just, you know, and then it meant nothing. Mm -hmm. And then when I went to the Philippines, one of my, uh, my, my nephew, which is mm -hmm. like, I call him Anak. Anak is my son. Okay. Um, he's my only nephew yeah. from uh, my brother. So he told me that um, he's, um, he's into music. He's a, he's a drum player. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, I was surprised because nobody played the drums. Nobody, no, no, like my, both of my brothers, they sing well, but you know, they're not musicians or anything like that. Yeah. And um, obviously I, I am not, you know. <laughs> so, and then from, um, j just fr from that, I, uh, I, I, I had asked one of them, um, one, his name is uh, uh I, I no like I can't. <laughs> you don't have yeah, to say yeah, it. Yeah, because yeah. uh, it, it's it's a secret. Um, okay, okay. I, okay. I want to be. I, I want this to be. Um, Conceal the identity. Yeah. No. No. no a surprise for oh, my surprise. better half. Oh, okay. 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 
Yeah, that um, I I went to their gig in one of the Filipino gathering, and then I yeah. said, you know, I I like doing trades, you know, like I'm a businessman, so okay, you know, so you know what? Yeah, I'll let's promote your show. Yeah. teach me how to play the drums, kind oh, of thing. So, nice. Yeah, and That's um, cool. we're gonna start very soon. Um, it's oh, you just, haven't started the lessons yet. Yeah, I haven't okay. started the lesson, but that's one of my. It's either the the drums or yeah. um, I, I I tried guitar when I was young. It didn't work for me, so yeah, yeah. I think the drums would be would be a cooler four year old drummer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think drums like even if you're not that good, it's yeah. still fun to play yeah. and like let out some stress, yeah. right? Exactly that that one. Too. Yeah, because you can just pound yeah, it just, as hard as yeah. you want. So, I know because my neighbors have drums. I hear it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're probably in the yeah. basement too, but it's just so loud. Yeah. But it sounds like they're yeah. having fun, so whatever. That, that that is one thing that I will surprise my family with, like playing the drums. Yeah, yeah. One, oh, I have two inspiration. One is my my better half, and second is my nephew. Mm. I want to show him that I'm playing the drums too. You know? Okay, it's like a support to him. Like, hey, yeah. yeah, you know what? You're playing the drums. Look at that. He calls me. He calls me Dada. So, oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. say you're playing the drums. Look yeah. how much better at the yeah. drums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's cool though. So yeah. that uh, that's kind of uh, brings us to the end of the, what we've uh, decided to talk about today in terms of Jimmy's passion. So yeah. we talked about some cooking, some motivational speaking in Tagalog. Some fashion and self-care, reinventing yourself, learning Spanish, and playing the drums. So yeah. I think now we can move on to a lightning round of questions and answers. So Ooh. I have 50 questions. We're going to go through really fast. Don't okay. judge me. <laughs> you still love me. You're my followers. Yeah. And hi there. <laughs> hey. So we're going to see if he makes it through these 50 questions okay. as fast as possible. He hasn't seen this before. Uh, and I'll read them off. So you can read with me or just answer them. Ready? Yeah. Okay, number one. What's your favorite candle scent? A oh, vanilla. No, oh, you're really fast, actually. Yeah. Just knew that one. Number two. Which female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Um, Taylor Swift. Oh, okay, okay. Which male celebrity do you wish was your brother? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's, a, that's an interesting family. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how old do you think you'll be when you get married? Or if no, you get I'm, married? No, I'm already taken... Okay. Yeah, but, yeah. So good enough. Uh, do you know a hoarder? Myself. You're a hoarder. No, no, no. <laughs> I heard a lot of things. Okay. I don't know. That's what my my mom told me. My 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 partner. So okay. But okay. I don't hoard. But yeah, I think that sounds like something a hoarder would say. Oh really? <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> Denial. <laughs> Denial. Okay. So. Number six. Can you do a split? Oh no, I can't. Not I, even close. No. Okay. Number I seven. I tried. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> How how old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? Oh, I was young. Uh, yeah, and I I, I nobody uh, no nobody showed me how to do it. Are you just learned on your own? Yeah. My, oh wow. Yeah, I, I saw my neighbor's bike and then I kind of stole it. Oh, I just <laughs> went around the block and then yeah. Okay, but you gave it back, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, number eight. How many oceans have you swam in? Oh, I've a lot. A lot? Yeah, okay. I, I, yeah, I'm from the Philippines. Oh, of course. So you're I'm, surrounded I'm, by yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Now I'm in Canada, so both. <laughs> right. How many countries have you been to? One, two, three. 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 Philippines, U.S., Canada? Philippines, U.S., Canada, Hong Kong, okay, yeah. China. Yeah, five. Oh, five. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, is there anyone in your family in the army? Yeah, my dad used to be in the, in the army when I was, oh, yeah, when I was young. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what would you name your daughter if you had one? Um, I had my, 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 my favorite female name is Mirella. Mirella? Oh, yeah, that's but pretty my, one. Yeah, my, uh, my youngest uh, niece, when yeah. she was born, I, I told my brother, name her Mirella. Oh. Like, that's an order. That was an order. Oh, it was an yeah. order. Okay. Yeah, that's an order. And he did it? Uh, yeah, he did it. Oh, good job. Okay, how about, what would you name your son if you had one? Kevin. Kevin? Yeah. It's a nice name. Yeah. Strong name. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Number 13, what's the worst grade you got on a test? Um... Would you consider driving test a test? Or I think so. I think so. Yeah, I, I failed. You failed the driving yeah, test? Yeah, once. So Okay. I'll, yeah, once. Yeah. Okay, okay. But you redeemed yourself and now you like driving, yeah. so that's okay. Okay, number 14. What was your favorite TV show when you were a child? When I was a child, um, I I can't remember, but all, all I watched was cartoons. But you know what? Um, I like... Um, 
what do you call this? Like uh, game shows. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like Those are always shows. fun. I love game yeah. shows with the kids. Mm-hmm. Even now, they're really fun. Mm-hmm. Okay, 15. What did you dress up as ha- as on Halloween when you were eight? I... Wait. I, 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 I think it was a werewolf. Because we had a border. We, um, like, the one that rents in our house. Oh. And then he's some... Uh, an artist uh, for oh, movies, cool. and then yeah, I wanted to have a pirate, uh, pirate uh, makeup or yeah, yeah, you yeah. know look, but he turned in me, he turned me into a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. Not even a werewolf <laughs> yeah. pirate, just a werewolf. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's cool. Yeah. That's a really cool story. Uh, okay, what ha- have you read? Any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games, or Twilight series? No, no. no? Twilight, I, I I I watched it, but no. Okay. Uh, would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? I would rather have a French accent. Oh. <laughs> no, no, you know. Right? That didn't sound French. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Can you do that again? I don't French know. accent? French. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, because a British accent is so, like... I don't know. It's I like I, James, I would rather James have... Bond, uh... For me, I'm, 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 I'm captured with the... With a person who's speaking with the like European accent. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Either a German. Is that right? <laughs> it sounds the same as your French accent. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, nice try though. Nice yeah. try. Okay, so German or French accent? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Eighteen. Did your mother go to college? Yep. Cool. Yeah. What did she? She say? finished uh, biology. Oh, She's nice. a biologist actually. Yeah. Cool. Nineteen. Are your grandparents still married? Yeah, and they're both in heaven. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're still married up there. Yeah. Kill it going. Okay. Uh, number 20. Have you ever taken karate club, karate lessons? Yeah, when I was a child, two, two lessons. Because, yeah, my, my father, I don't know, for some reasons, and my mom enrolled us in karate class. Oh, cool. And I wasn't into it. I was more into volleyball. Oh, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's good, though. Yeah. Uh, 21. Do you know who Kermit the Frog is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, who doesn't know that? Yeah. Okay. Number 22. What's the first amusement park you went to? Oh, it's uh, called Fiesta Carnival back in the Philippines. It's it, it, it's it has it. I had a really good memories with that uh, carnival. I went there in January, and it's now it's now a supermarket, and it broke my heart. Oh, yeah, that's too bad. Oh well, at least you had some good memories yeah. there. Uh, what language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? Probably Spanish. Uh, Spanish. Yeah, yeah, of course. Spanish. Okay. In French, comment ça va? <laughs> 24. Do you spell the color as gray with an E or gray with an A? Uh, I spell it gray with an A. With an A? Okay. Yeah. Number 25. Is your father bald? No. Okay. 26. Do you know any triplets? No. Okay. Number 27. Do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? The Notebook. Oh, romance. I, I, I am a very... Uh, I would like to think that I am a very romantic person. <laughs> yeah, I am. I, yeah, I am. And a very, yeah, touchy, huggy. Yeah. That was nice. Okay. Uh, 28. Have you ever had Indian food? I love Indian food. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's good stuff. 29. What's the name of your favorite restaurants? You can say your own if you want to. Oh, well, my, my favorite restaurant here in Canada, I would like to... Um, yeah, it's... there. There's... The, 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 the usual Filipino restaurants I like I go around Filipino restaurants here oh okay okay yeah because I I love Filipino food yeah but if you are talking about my favorite non-Filipino food that would be Mikado oh Japanese, Mikado Japanese Japanese that's yeah. a good one how about for Filipino food and you know what have you been to um, have you been to um, Cafe Amore it's yeah. Italian it's really oh, good yeah that's really good yeah. they give you lots of good portions too yeah yeah, very big but my favorite Filipino food that would be sisig and uh, deep fried pork which is called bagnet oh. and that's one of my best selling items in my oh, food nice. truck yeah. gotta check that one out okay uh, 30 have you ever been to Olive Garden yeah I did yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. many so, times okay 31 do you belong to any warehouse stores Costco BJ's etc yeah yeah. of course really handy yeah. 32 what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender I think my 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 name is pretty. Uh, what do you call this? Um, Goes versatile. Yeah, yeah, Jamie. So, oh, yeah, yeah, Jamie. Maybe can be both. Jamie. Okay. Uh, if you if you have a nickname, what is it? I I I feel comfortable when somebody calls me just J. J. Yeah. Letter J. J. Yeah. Okay. Just a letter J. Okay. Thirty four. Who's your favorite person in the world? Apart from my my mom. It would be my my better half. That's good. Yeah. Good answer with your mom too. Yeah. 
Uh, 35. Would you rather live in a rural area or the suburbs? So, you know what? I, I love the rural. Really? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. But in my neighborhood there, it's, it's quiet. Mm-hmm. It's quiet. But um, I'm, I, I like the city life, you know? Yeah. But I don't mind living in a, but in a farm, but not too far from the city. You know yeah. when you, when you when you wanted to go for you you don't have to wait for the plane for you to go and do your Grocery groceries yeah. <laughs> yeah you know I, I would rather have I would rather drive half an hour to go to the groceries if if I were to live in a suburb. Yeah, yeah 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 okay um 36 can you whistle so no yeah. okay no, no? <laughs> 37 do you sleep with a nightlight no no okay 38, do you eat breakfast every morning? Yeah. Okay, I, that's good. That's healthy. Mm, uh, but I drink cold water in the morning too. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. 39, do you take any pills or medication daily? Yeah, I take, I take vitamins. I take biotin, but I stopped it two days ago because I, I see hairs in my... <laughs> biotin is, um, is a, uh, medic, uh, vitamins for your hair and nails. Oh, you and, and that makes you grow in your ears. I grow, I'm I'm growing it in my ear, so I stopped it. Oh but, yeah, slow yeah, down. Yeah, <laughs> that's but too my much. hair my hair got a little bit fuller. So yeah, that's good. I'm it's happy. thick. No but, balding anywhere. Uh, forty. What medical conditions do you have? Um, psychosis. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, I I. So far, no, no, I don't have, and I'm I'm very lucky that um, I have. Um, I I have a healthy body and a healthy mind and I'm I'm really thankful for my parents for giving me that good genes. Yeah. But, yeah. That's good. You got to do good things with the health. Yeah. Uh 41. How many times have you been to the hospital? Probably four. Okay. Surgery. Had surgery here. Oh, then, okay, okay. Yeah, some you know, coughs and whatever. Yeah, it doesn't seem bad. Yeah. Okay, 42. Have you seen Finding Nemo? No, no. You haven't seen Finding Nemo? No. Oh, you got to watch it. Okay, 43. Where do you buy your jeans? I don't buy it. It's provided for by Jack and Jones. Okay, <laughs> shout out Jack and Jones. 44. What's the last compliment you got? Thank you for inspira- for being an inspiration. Like, And I, I do get that a lot every day. If you see my phone, like I, I get an average of 100 to 150 messages a day. And that's what I get. And it's nice. Wow. And... Uh, yeah, and then you look young, and then you what you said earlier, like yeah, you that's look forty. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, that's that's really good. Everyday inspiration. Yeah. Okay, uh, forty-five. Do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? Yeah, I do. Okay, any weird dreams? Or yeah, just, yeah. It, it, I think they're always weird. Always it's, weird. It's, it's, they're all weird. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, forty-six. What flavor of tea do you enjoy? I love chamomile. Chamomile is good. Yeah. Forty-seven. How many pairs of shoes do you currently own? Oh my god, like. 30 or 25 (laughs) okay 48 what religion will you raise your children to practice if you had children that you know um i've been when i when i went to canada um, 10 years ago i would say catholic Mm -hmm. you know but i went to canada was um my mind was open to a lot of things you know but i can guide them but they can they can choose Mm. whatever they want to believe in yeah yeah and that I think that is, I think that is healthy. Yeah, it's not, you know. It's empowering. Yeah, yeah. Because I want them to. I, if I had kids, I want them to, to be very independent. Mm. Yeah. Okay. At Forty nine. How old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? Oh, it broke my heart. Oh, really? Yeah. I, sorry. How old I? How old I, were you? Oh, I was already going to high school. No, no, no. About grade four or five and oh, okay, it broke okay. my heart but but the thing is yeah i'm already an entrepreneur in my mind oh when i know that when i knew that santa isn't real yeah yeah i'll i'll try to write santa notes yeah, yeah. wanting to have like 20 pesos you know and i'll oh. put it in my dad and my parents door yeah and, yeah and tomorrow i'll have the 20 20 pesos you know? oh wow so that uh, that's, that's an that's entrepreneurial sneaky, yeah. side of me <laughs> But I know it's not real, you know. Yeah. And then, but you know, you I, took, the, the I took advantage of it. Profit. Or, yeah. Okay. And Char. Then, yeah, I will. I will see you. <laughs> Last question. Yeah. Why do you have a Tumblr? Do you even have Tumblr? No. Okay. I don't know. Tum- Tumblr. 
Oh, okay. it's it's some picture. it's website for like yeah picture. blogs pictures. Oh, okay. So that's the end of the lightning round. You made it. Good yeah. job. Fifty questions. Ooh. So now we know you fifty questions more. So now, lastly, the last part of the podcast, I always talk about three songs each that we like because yeah. it's just kind of interesting to yeah. incorporate that element because sometimes <laughs> you're like, oh, they listen to that or yeah. And I'm a DJ, so after we talk about this, I'll be mixing everything together. That probably not good. live, but yeah. For my podcast, you can tune yeah. in and watch it there. So you chose three songs today. Yeah. What can you tell us about your three songs? Catchy. It's a, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, um, I, I was, um, I was watching, uh, I was watching TFC and then that's, uh, that's in the Philippines. And then this group of, um, actors and actresses back home, they were, they were, you know playing and then dancing to that tune and it just catched my 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 taste oh, so, so it's just yeah, in the background yeah okay. every morning I, I play it whenever i go for a drive you know it, yeah. it, it bo- boosts me up in the morning no so. it de- definitely has like a nice just makes you want to dance right? yeah yeah okay and then you have a couple other songs that are totally yeah. different from that one yeah i know it's play that song by train yeah um i love playing that whenever i drive up to grand prairie oh it, yeah because when I learned that song, mm-hmm. when I learned about this song, that was the first time I ever drove up there, and it just creates a good memory for me. I'm I'm like that, you know. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Like sentimental. I, I'm sentimental yeah. person. So, yeah, it it makes me feel good, like listening to that song, thinking that I'm I'm going there, you know. Like, yeah. Grand Prairie is one of my favorite place to go to. Oh. Yeah. What what do you have going on in Grand Prairie? Some um my my better half goes there for oh, for, okay. for um a couple of days and then goes back here. But um one thing that um a lot of people doesn't know, Grand Prairie has one of the they have really good parks. Oh. Public parks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> com- now 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 probably my followers know about it so yeah it's it's crazy it's nice oh yeah, yeah. I, I had no idea yeah it just it's seemed beautiful. like some random other oh it's there. beautiful oh. it's beautiful I'll have to yeah. check it out and then your last song you have yeah my kind of night by luke bryan i love luke bryan yeah everything about luke bryan is it just country in general or just luke bryan specifically luke bryan specifically <laughs> <laughs> no um yeah he's he's a he's he, He's a good guy. He practices charity. He's a good voice. He's oh. he's a very handsome guy. He, you know, he's um, he's he's an epitome of a, you know an artist with a heart with a talent. You know, yeah. he's, he's he's good. Cool. Yeah. All right, and then I chose three songs myself too that I'm gonna mix with yours. Yeah, sure. And they're way different, so this is gonna be really fun. <laughs> <laughs> so the first song I chose is called "Proud" by Two Chains featuring YG and Offset. Okay. And you know, Two Chains. It's like a yeah, rap, yeah, yeah. His new his new music video is really funny for this one because it's like his songs about like he wants to make his mama proud, uh-huh. and the music video is like all of their moms like lip syncing the rap. Oh, it's really funny. Yeah, and then a new one by Nicki Minaj called Chun Li, like the Street Fighter Chun Li. Yeah, yeah. So like I these are two that. kind of harder hip hop songs that are gonna go with your house and yeah. slow dance and country. And then the last one is I always include a K pop song because. My wife's Korean, and I like to yeah. learn a lot about K-pop. And K-pop is very big back home in the Philippines. Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah, really oh my big. God. They will spend thousands and thousands of dollars to Ooh. watch K-pop. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to mix in one of those songs too called Triple D by Exit. So I'm yeah. sure your Filipino fans will know who that is. So yeah, yeah, they can look forward to that. So that brings us to the end of this episode, episode 17 of the Beat on Bits podcast. If you like what you heard, like what you watched, like what yeah. you listened to, you can find me on social media at Beat on Bits, B-D-O-N-B-I-T-S, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube as well. And then you can find yeah. Jeepney JT. Yeah, Twitter, just Jeepney JT. I'm not very active on Twitter. Okay. But uh, Instagram and Facebook, uh, Jeepney JT. Just, yeah, look for it. And I have YouTube too. I have one video there. But <laughs> more to come though. More to come. Yeah, so yeah. subscribe to his channel. Yeah. You can subscribe to mine if you want to see more Passions, Projects, and yeah. Playlists from more cool people like like Jamie in yeah. the future. Oh, so thank you. Again, Look, thanks for... Anhyang Seo. Anhyang Seo. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thank you. And, we'll and see thank you, you for time. having me. Yeah, thank of course. You. Anytime. Thank you so much for yeah. coming. Yeah. See you. See you. Bye-bye.